size. <laughs> How's that 85 working for you? One, two, three. Thank you. All the way over. I'm looking this way. Straight out for Lionsgate. Straight out here for Lionsgate. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All the way ahead. Everybody straight ahead. Straight ahead. Black people. Straight ahead. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Excuse me. Right here on the end. Look at that. Holy. Here, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Am I back here again? Did you do the blowing the kiss again? Thank you.
Very excited. It's a really good movie and it's a lot of fun, but it's also about some really serious subject matter. World War II, um, obviously an incredibly serious time and completely bonkers when you think about it. If World War II didn't actually happen and someone wrote a story about World War II happening, you wouldn't believe it. it, it it's completely mad what happened during that period. And these guys and girls going through this mission, which was essentially a suicide mission, and being enormously successful. And then you tie that up with some of the Guy Ritchie madness, and it makes for a wonderful movie to watch. Fantastic. I love collaborating with Guy Ritchie. Guy is one of those people who, in the morning, we sit down and we kick a scene around. And the scene, as written, will not exist in the same way by the time we're finished. Dialogue is often completely rewritten. The action of the scene is completely rewritten. And when I say action, I don't mean choreographed action. That's important that it stays the same. But the stage direction. And it creates an incredibly freeing process. I really, really enjoy it because there's no limitations. It's just about the best storytelling and the best character development. I mean, I had a little bit of experience in the gun training prior to this. Um, so it wasn't that bad. Actually, my gun training was Guy Ritchie screaming. Okay, pull it, shoot, left, right, down. That was basically my warm up and my shot and it's all on screen. So you will tell me how was my training. <laughs> oh, cause he's fun. He really wants to make you shine. He'll play into your strengths. He always wants to, to have a good time and make the scene elevated and better and entertaining. And he just knows how to really balance uh, educating and really being accurate with the historic things or whatever we're being discussed at the moment and the difference between that and just really making sure that it's still entertaining and fun. I mean Marjorie Stewart herself was just one of the few amazing incredible women that changed the trajectory of World War II. Uh, the SOE women were pivotal, changed the, the, the amount of um, how they could infiltrate in a different way than the, the men could was pretty spectacular. The more I read about them, nor, I mean, there's so many incredible women that I studied and uh, dived into, and I just was um, moved deeply by the efforts and the things that they did to, you know, honor their country and what they, I mean, it's spectacular, the work that they did in, in the war. Beyond excited, it's an amazing, fun, spectacular movie that needs to be seen in the big screen. I am so excited that we're able to come to the U.S. and promote it here. And then eventually all the other places will watch it in VOD or in Amazon, but very excited. I love this movie. It's a spectacular, brilliant, fun, entertaining movie. Oh, my God. Um, we filmed this, I think, last year in, in February, Jan January, February, March, uh, that sort of period. Uh, and we knew it was going to be something special just because uh, the chemistry on set was like phenomenal. I've worked with Guy before and he works with a lot of the same people in terms of crew and, and sometimes cast if you're lucky. Um, so it was, it was all, all the ingredients 
for a great film. And I think, I think we blew it out of the water. Luckily, uh, a lot less physical, uh, weirdly. Alan, Alan got most of the running around. Um, I'm the explosive expert, so I'm sort of applying a little C4 there. And, um, but in fact, you know, back in those days, it wasn't really hand-to-hand -hand combat, so shooting, like terrible things like that. So not much physical stuff, which is great. Um, being stuck in a boat with them for like a week at a time, um, just out on the azure of, of, of the Mediterranean. And um, I think just all being together and hanging out, we would hang out like every single day. So it was, it was, it was life changing. I don't know how to explain it sort of better, but it was life changing. Oh my God, running around at night and explosions happening, you know, on the harbor. Uh, it was a special thing because it's like this is a big proper action thing with a unique eye of Guy Ritchie. It was just wonderful. It was, it was really, really special. They built a, a, a town at the harbor, you know, just for the film. And it looked, it felt, it was like a real town. Uh, I think that's really special. All the craftspeople that are involved in making this stuff is just unbelievable. And it was just really wonderful. I saw a guy doing his thing, so to speak. He was so in the flow of things, coming up with just new dialogue every day and like really working out the scenes. He was, I just saw this excitement in him as we were making the film. And it was really, really beautiful to watch uh, him really, really in the thick of it. You know, I loved it. I loved it. You know, I had worked with Guy, Guy Ritchie previously, did a film called Wrath of Man with Jason Statham. And, uh, you know, we had something going, and uh, Guy was kind enough to bring me on again. You know, him and Ivan Atkinson, his producer, and Jerry Bruckheimer, and these, you know, wonderful filmmakers essentially saying, you know, come into this. And I happily, happily accepted. I'm very excited for audiences because really, I see these movies, and my God. This is a movie for the movies. The trailer alone got me. And I, you know, I'm not easily got, but I was gotten with this trailer. And then I saw the film, and I was so, so proud to be a part of it. And I can't wait for you to get out there to the theaters and enjoy yourselves. It was a pleasure. I've always looked up to Guy. I've always wanted to work with him. So. I feel like I've kind of peaked. I don't know how I'll top working with Guy. He is really one of my favorite directors. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, 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 been, it's been surreal. Do you know what? We stayed in a, in, a, in a hotel together and it being an ensemble piece, you get a lot, a, a lot of time off. So Turkey was, was where we filmed in Turkey. So it was really nice to do all the stuff on set, but also spend time together off set. But it didn't feel like work. When we did get called in to do our stuff together, it didn't feel like work. It was an honor, it was a pleasure. Um, I feel like just ensemble pieces are always kind of more fun, so yeah. I think he's a very um, reliable, straight, uh, he's, got a, he's got a very kind of linear idea of what he wants to do, he's trustworthy. I think he somewhat looks up to Cavill's character and aspires to be like Gus March Phillips. But ultimately, he wants to, you know, uh, fight for, for the good guys, and, and um, he's good at that. Oh, how much time do we have? Uh, I'm ridiculously excited. I've seen it personally three times. I can't wait to see it again. Um, it is so much fun. It is so much fun. I've always loved Guy Ritchie, so that's a reason to watch it if you like Guy's movies. And then obviously, we've got an incredible ensemble cast. The story is, is fascinating. So you've got a million reasons to watch this, but truly, I've had so much fun re-watching it and shooting it and I'm sure, I feel very confident that, that people who see this movie will absolutely love it. Well Guy, you know, he's a wonderful storyteller, he loves characters, as you know. Um, he's, he's joyful, he makes it very easy for actors, he understands their process, so uh, every actor that you're going to meet tonight and talk to, they're going to tell you the same thing, it's, it's, he's, he really is a great director to work with for actors. Richie movies are meant to be seen on the biggest screen you can find, you know. Guy knows all about how to captivate an audience and keep them keep them excited. You know, he uh, there's no boredom in any of his movies. My grandfather 
uh, was Lieutenant Colonel Billy McLean was in Special Operations, and so he used to regale me as a kid with his exploits uh, in Albania in 1943. So yeah, it was. It's a very personal film for me. I was amazed how collaborative he actually is. You know, on my first day, we were trying to figure out what sort of drunkness my character needs to to carry out through most of the movie and finding that balance and also the cadence of the 1940s. He was, he was so bold and unafraid to change scenes on the day. So it was, it was pretty amazing, yeah, I feel blessed. I mean, I have to say my first day talking to Babs and finding out that we went to the same high school in 30 seconds of talking was pretty crazy because I'm from Brasilia, Brazil, and that was pretty wild to me. Um, but also seeing the U-boats exploding, you know, on that Mediterranean piece was, it was, pretty, it was pretty sick. So I have to say that one, yeah. I feel like this is almost why this medium exists, you know, seeing the movie of this scope on the big screen and getting familiar with this piece of history I wasn't even familiar with. The Churchill's first secret platoon, you have a Spanish captain, you have British uh, spies, and you have so many people working on set, Turkish, Polish extras playing Nazis, it was, I think, I think that's why cinema brings people together, so I think it's going to be a great movie to watch on the big screen. Well, he's a terrific director, he's fun, his movies are great, he's got a great sense of humor, he's a terrific writer, and he brought a, a lot of his talent to this film. It's unique, it's not like a war movie you've ever seen before. A, it's a true story, B, it's got Guy Rich's humor in it, so it's it's something that's totally unique. You can't see this anywhere else, and you want to see it in the theater. I was sent the book by Jerry Bruckheimer uh, back in 2017, so it's been a bit of a journey for us. And the first thing that I saw was um, types of movies that I used to watch as a kid, The Dirty Dozen and uh, The Great Escape, and how we could sort of have fun with a group of misfits going out to war and killing a lot of Nazis. Guy has this wonderful comedy that is a genre and a tone on its own. And Jerry is the master of the adventure movies from Pirates of the Caribbean on all the way through to military movies like Top Gun. So their marriage is just perfect cinema. Damien's very much a journalistic writer, so we still sort of had to go in. First of all, the book covers a lot of stories, and we decided we wanted this one to be the, the first story of a franchise, hopefully. Um, but he had done all the research, and then we had to sort of take that and turn it into a movie, of course. Uh, but without the book, and also uh, the British files became available as well. They were top secret files for the longest time. And then they finally released them, what, like the year we started working on it. Yeah, right when we started working on it, all these papers became available to us. And, <clears throat> and a lot of these guys uh, came to and talked to Damien, gave him a lot more information than he had before, so we were able to... Right. That's a great story. <laughs> well, we, we originally sold it to Jerry, and he's the biggest action filmmaker in the world. So we actually had a bidding war on this, and Jerry ended up winning. And uh, the movie was originally going to be a Paramount film, and eventually ended up at Black Bear. Um, Guy works with momentum, and a film like this, war film based on historical, something that requires a bit of momentum, and he's just the right person for it. He already did a good job on it. Yeah, and I would say that um, Guy has a, such a fun improvisational approach to filmmaking, and so to take something that's historical by nature and add in this improvisational sort of comedic approach to filmmaking uh, makes for a real entertainment. So we're really happy with the with, with the result. Well, um, I mean, they're great cast. Henry Cavill's like you know he's fantastic, one of the most handsome looking people we've ever seen, and um, Alan is great. You know, he's a good person to bring together. Asia we've worked with before, and we're currently working with currently. And you know, just being a great team, we really liked it. Yeah, and I think that um, when we put this cast together, uh, we were looking for the right ensemble of uh, really fun, energetic, uh, uh, youthful actors. And I think that you know, together we we, we came together as a uh, a real sort of a, a network and a real family. Um, and everyone got along incredibly well on set with this sort of camaraderie, uh, which you'll see in the movie. There's enormous chemistry uh, with the ensemble cast. And so we're so excited about this group of actors. Uh, they're so much fun. And I think everyone's just going to love them. Oh, we're very excited. I mean, we've been working on it for a long time. It's been in development for a while. So we're very happy to get you. Yeah, we're, we're delighted to finally see the result of our work. 
Um, you know, we've been working on putting this together with Guy Ritchie and, and Jerry Bruckheimer for the last 18 months. And uh, this is our fourth film with Guy Ritchie to date. Uh, and it's a real accomplishment to be working with this caliber of filmmaker and producer. So we're, we're thrilled.